Well, we'd had criminalization of sexual activity between men since the 1500s. It was Henry VIII who introduced it. The first real reform was 1861, when the death penalty for sex between men was repealed. There were some high-profile cases in the 1950s, which probably led to the Wolfenden Committee being set up. The proposed reform was modest in that it would only be applied to consenting adult men over the age of 21 in private. It took 10 years for the report to be implemented through the Sexual Offences Act 1967, which only applied to England and Wales. There was a major regression in 1988, the Local Government Act, Section 28, which prohibited, among other things, the teaching in state schools of the acceptability of homosexuality. The changes started in 1997 with the recognition of same-sex couples in the area of immigration. Then in 1999, you had the ban on lesbian, gay members of the armed forces declared to be a violation of the European Convention on Human Rights by the European Court of Human Rights. In 2000, the age of consent was equalized at 16. 2002, the Adoption and Children Act in England and Wales allowed same-sex couples to adopt children jointly. 2003, Section 28 is repealed. First Protection Against Discrimination in Employment is introduced. 2004, Civil Partnership Act. 2008, Human Fertilization and Embryology Act. Equality in Assisted Reproduction. And then finally, uh, the Marriage Same-Sex Couples Act 2013. The next big challenge is extending the reforms that began in the UK to the 75 or so countries in Asia, Africa and the Caribbean that still have criminal laws. In over 50% of these cases, the laws were introduced by Britain.